So I've got a lot of saliva. <laughs> Shout out to everyone who's coming back again to watch my reviews, who watched them last year and are here again this year. Hello! And shout out to all the new subscribers on the YouTube channel. Welcome to my channel. And I have to do a massive shout out, big up to the winner of The Voice USA, Tess Anjin from Jamaica. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. From Jamaica, Jamaica! Yes, we are very proud. We say we're proud to have her and winning the vice representing Jamaica. Yes, man. All right, yes, big up to Tess and she. <laughs> new presenters and new judges. It's great. <laughs> Emma Willis. Lovely. And um, Marvin, is it, from JLS. Marvin, I don't think Marvin is ready. Someone needs to lend Marvin a few facial expressions, in my opinion. I want him to react and just loosen up the, loosen the face up, you know? Ricky Wells had lost weight, didn't he? I think I was expecting Ricky to be more um, sort of out there, more quirky, outrageous and funny. But he just seemed to be taking it so seriously. I want him to loosen up. I want Ricky just to get into the flow. It's all this overthinking for Ricky and Kylie. She's overthinking it and so she's behaving in a way, oh, it's just not natural. It's not, not natural. And maybe it's just because it's the first episode. I just hope that they can just mellow out, chill. <laughs> People who did not get through. Shaking. No, it's such a shame. Such a shaky start. Completely just didn't know what her note was and she was completely out of tune the entire way through. It's just too nice. It's just too bland, nice and straightforward. There's nothing that was like, whoa, 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 exciting. Excuse me. Gutted right about now. Sorry, mate. Ryan Green reminded me of a young Connor Reeves. Who remembers Connor Reeves? Connor Reeves. Ryan was just that beautiful, smooth sounding voice, and they did not turn around for him. <laughs> turn around! So cute! is amazing it's so contemporary it's so relevant it's so smooth and it's got places to develop you can hear in his voice that he can actually still get better although he's so good at the moment and he's the only one that I was actually really excited about You're not on board. Christina Marie has got a lovely voice and she's gonna be a grower for me. Rubbish song! Damn it! I hate this song. Can't listen to any more. Can't listen to any more. Beth has a decent voice. I hate that song though. Why did you have to sing that song? Hate it! Who 
was that guy from last year? He's singing like that guy from last year. What was his name? What was his name? The guy from last year who had that real sort of um, male um, Lana Del Rey style, who I really liked, but then he beat, he knocked out Liam Tammy and we're like, Whoa! He sounds like him. Legal asset, I think he's gonna grow on me. That uh, didn't blow me away, but it was actually quite nice, his uh, rendition of that song. Anna. Anna was probably one of the best of the night. She's so kooky and she's got her little harp. That's how you play a harp. I thought she would have gone with Kylie because she's dressed like Charlene from Neighbours. But she didn't go with Kylie. She went with Will I Am because she knows that Will I Am can take the gift of the quirkiness and put it, his spin on it because he's a fellow quirky person and he can give her really great songs and she can flourish underneath his uh, tutorship. I wish she was up there for 13 minutes singing a Joanna Newsome tune. The meadow lark and the jam tree and the sparrow Loaded about and down in the sunbelts and below <laughs> again to get Loki. She should have done the get Loki version. I mean that would be really cool man. My poor night to get lucky. Had enough. Brilliant. She was really good. I really like her a lot. Tom Jones wasn't even gonna turn around for Sally Barker. He's lucky Kylie had to tell him to do so. She was brilliant. I loved her voice. No one alive can always be an angel. When things go wrong, we see some bad. <laughs> you try not to cry. Whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Control. Love it. All of that emotion, all of that experience, all of that heartbreak, right there in that song. Love that woman, Sally Barker. Leo from the streets. I know time's waiting for you, even though I would like to. Love Leo. Love him. I don't think he should be auditioning on this show. I think, do you know what I think, if I'm honest? I think he should be presenting it. He is one funny guy, but never mind. He's on it, he's here to sing, and he wants to stand out from the shadows of Mike Skinner and the streets as a whole. <laughs> Over singing a bit, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> he's great and he's got such an amazing personality. He's got a really brilliant voice. I'm so glad he got chosen. And that is it for now, everybody. And thank you very much for watching the show. Um, tune in again next week. I'll be back with another review of The Voice UK. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you, bye. And me.